album band stuff with this one. He recorded Julianne with this. Uh, a lot of the cool, cool things that Doyle did were done on this man. And, uh, that was the News see. Is Out album, wasn't it? Yeah. Yep. You can see it's just an absolutely beautiful instrument. Welcome to McClanahan Stringed Instruments. My name is Jonathan McClanahan. I wanted to show you this mandolin here. This is a Paganoni dated November 23rd, 1980. And uh, I remember uh, being a, just a, when I was a kid uh, watching, watching this mandolin. Um, Doyle played this mandolin all over uh, the festivals and everything and on TV. It's, it's ironic to have it in the shop today because this mandolin right here um, was one of the first mandolins that um, really set my heart on fire for the mandolin. Obviously, Bill Monroe's was first, no doubt about that. But this one was right close to that. And um, I've always been a huge fan of uh, Paganoni mandolins. I've talked to Chris Paganoni, um, um, the, the father, the maker's son. And, um, and, and uh, it's, just, it's just what a legacy. What a legacy that Paganoni uh, um, carved the path for all of us luthiers. And it's just a beautiful mandolin. Uh, Ricky Wasson is the owner. And, uh, he talked to Danny Roberts about it needing a um, new fingerboard and also a neck reset. Um, me and Danny looked it over and it is actually separated right here, not just stress cracks in the finish, but it is actually uh, separating and lifting up and in need of a neck reset. So, um, and also a fingerboard and uh, needing a fingerboard as well. Um, the fret intonation's a little off um, so we're going to get that corrected too, but i um, going to get digging into this and then uh, Danny's going to do the setup on it and, um, and it's, just, it's just a wonderful piece. It's a wonderful piece. It's an honor to have this in the shop today. So stay tuned. I'll be showing you in-depth pictures of all this. Here we go. So ended up what I had to do, obviously remove the neck um, right here. Had to, uh, just like if you watched the lore video, the Don Brown lore video, the same thing happened to this. Had to remove this outer side of the dove tail and uh, splice in another piece back in. All right, and then here, rebuilding the, um, the dove tail on this. You can see it came out perfect. And then put it in there get it glued up. I'm using hide glue. Always use hide glue. And then we got a lot of surfacing off, as you can see right here, a lot of that glue residue from years back. Um, get that all glued or uh, cleaned off everything. And I'm making a fingerboard for it. The intonation was, uh, was a, a little bit off. Ricky Wasson wanted a, a new fingerboard put on it. So I'm making a new fingerboard tonight and uh, gonna be gluing it on it, but the original fingerboard will stay with the mandolin. I was able to remove it and keep the binding and everything intact. So the original fingerboard is with the mandolin, but um, this is gonna come out great. And uh, it's just such an honor to work on Doyle Lawson. He's everybody's hero. Um, and such an honor to, to do this uh, level of repair work on this mandolin. And when it comes out, it will be absolutely perfect. It'll be like it was untouched. So I can't wait to hear it play again. Uh, it's just, just an exciting project. So stay tuned for more. I'll be showing you some more video on this uh, throughout the uh, night. And then it will go off to Danny Roberts for a setup, for frets and setup. So here we go, stay tuned. So what happened was, is I had to completely just like the Don Brown lore, I had to take this here, this side of the dovetail completely off and notch it just like the Don Brown lore. Then whenever I was, after I had fixed um, and um, you know repaired and everything, the dovetail um, male version of the neck, when I was pulling it in and out, I de determined that this side also was cracked and after putting it under a stress test there it was it was cracked as well so i had to redo this whole side as well and um so it's essentially got a whole new head block from 
the line of my thumb, the upper part of my thumb right there, out. So the whole, both of the um, dovetails. And uh, it was, it was something else. But got it. This actually, all this came loose from the head block. All of this, the head block comes down to here. All this was loose and was moving. This whole piece right here was loose and moving out, in and out. And then um, I had to uh, put a whole new ear on this side, the uh, riser ear, portion of the ear. Also a big problem was too, the neck uh, heel cap down here, the neck heel part of the dovetail was not glued to the back. So I had to add, you, you barely, barely see it right there. I had to add an eighth of an inch shim to the bottom, squared it up, everything, to get it to glue to the back to anchor it down. And then after that, put a new fingerboard on it and uh, exact specs to Doyle's. Got the original fingerboard with the original binding in there. Um, I had to give it a speed neck ultimately because where this was hanging over and whenever it got it at the right dimensions, I had to reshape all of this. Whenever I started getting this right, it always blends in and, and then I, I just ended up having to do the whole neck. But um, it does look relic and all that. I relic it to match the instrument. So there you go. And it's getting ready to go off to Danny, uh, Danny Roberts for a Pro setup and um, they just come out phenomenal. All right, we're just off the bench today. We're in here at Jonathan McClanahan's shop and we've got Paganoni number 30. Um, this is one that uh, belonged to Doyle Lawson. That he actually signed the label on it. It, uh, it had to have a neck reset. I actually got a new fingerboard on it, neck reset, everything done with it and set up. And this is an absolute monster of a man. On it. Everywhere, it's got the killer tone, the chop, and I, I just love the tone of Don't cost any extra. <laughs> <It's no> extra. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, Ricky. Thank you. For letting us, uh, it's such an honor and privilege. Thanks for such all your a, hard work. Oh, thank you so much. It just, uh, Appreciate man, you. such a legendary instrument. And 
it's an honor to to know you and and uh, work on this instrument, buddy. We really appreciate.